Buongiorno. Today I am here with my friend Lizzie. Hi. Lizzie and I are out getting a coffee today and we thought it would be fun to explain to you how to order coffee in Italy. So we have ordered one of each of the four most common coffees. So we're going to have to drink a lot of coffee today, aren't we? Yes. Are you ready to drink four cups? I'm ready. Okay. We're both big coffee fans, so come along with us and let's try some coffee. Okay, so the first thing we've got is cafe. And then we've got coming up here, a cafe americano. Which is your favorite? Cappuccino. Do you like the cappuccino? What does a cappuccino have? Cappuccino has milk, um, steamed milk, and a shot of espresso. Yeah, okay. A little bit of milk foam as well. This is just a straight up cafe. Straight up coffee that if you have this in Italy, that's all you get. If you ask for coffee, this is what you get. Shot of espresso, always with a little candy and lots of sugar. So if I were to eat this like a regular Italian, go ahead and show me how much coffee, how much sugar you'd put in if you were just a regular Italian. Do I put any sugar in? Yeah, they do. I don't even know. At least one, maybe two. <laughs> there you go. Lost some there. All right, toss it back. Tell me what you think. Really good. Really good. Really right. good. Okay, so Cafe Americano is the closest thing you're going to get to drip coffee here. We don't have drip coffee here in Italy. Instead, what they do is they make a shot of espresso and then they draw water through the espresso until it's raised up to the level that you want it. So it doesn't really taste like American coffee. It's espresso that's watered down. And there's two names for it, either Cafe Americano or Cafe Lungo, which means a long draw on the water. So you can have it just straight up, like black. You can put sugar in it. Uh, if you want cream or milk, that's something different. You probably will want to order a different kind of drink, which they just pulled up right here. This is our cappuccino. So the cappuccino, let me take a little close look over the top. If you look, it looks like somebody's head with the hair going around the edge, like a bald guy, which is what it's supposed to be. It's the tonsured head of the cappuccino monk. That's what it's named after. It is a shot of espresso with milk and milk foam, mostly foam on the top. And it's a lovely drink, this is my favorite. Sometimes they sprinkle a little bit of chocolate on the top if you want. That is good. I can have at least two or three of these a day. Probably be happy to have either of them a day. And actually when I'm with my Italian friends, we typically have at least two or three, but not after 11 o'clock. You cannot drink this after 11 o'clock. It's considered tacky because it's a breakfast drink. So any milk-based drinks are prior to 11 o'clock. If you want to have a cafe or something that's straight up coffee after lunch, after dinner, then that's more important. If you're a big fan of Starbucks and you want to get something similar here in Italy, you don't want to order a latte because they're just going to give you a glass of milk. That's all that is. So you want to order a cafe latte, which is a, some steamed milk and espresso in it. It's really, really delicious, and it's one of my other favorites besides a cappuccino to have after 11 a.m. Nope, not what? after 11 a.m. Oh, Naughty girl, only before 11 a.m. Oh. It's a breakfast drink, my friend. Still, this is a breakfast drink? It is, I'm oh. sorry. You well, can have it, I've it's okay. I've broken the cardinal rule of Italy and gotten it after 11 a.m. That's okay. But if you're here really and you really want it after 11 o'clock, you should enjoy it anyway. We're just under the wire. It's about 10.51 right now, so we're doing okay. You can order it after 11 o'clock, it's just Italians wouldn't do that, so I leave it up to you. What do you think? It's delicious. And what do you think of this in comparison to American coffee? Mm, it's a little bit stronger. Well, a little bit. It's pretty much a lot stronger, but they're really, really delicious and we have tons of options. Yeah. So that's our roundup of coffees, the basic four coffees here in Italy. Cafe, Cappuccino, and Cafe Americano or Cafe Lungo. Oh, and Cafe Latte. Yeah. So Lizzie and I have just drank an awful lot of coffee and we're very caffeinated. We are ready for museums now. But we have a couple of important tips about having coffee here in Florence. And what is the most important tip, Lizzie? You want to stand at the bar, don't sit. Yeah, you'll pay probably six euros for a cup if you sit. If you stand, like we're doing, I think that these are about a, a euro fifty a piece, which is a heck of a lot less than a Starbucks at home, that's for sure. 
The other tip is that when you arrive in a coffee shop, most often if it's busy, you want to go to the cashier first and pay, get your receipt, and then put the receipt on the counter, and the person behind the counter will make your coffee for you. In this case, we're the only ones here, so we just asked her, and then we'll pay later. So it's crowded. The tradition is pay first at the cashier, take your ticket, put it on the counter, and then they make your coffee. So there you go. It's a little caffeination uh, here in Florence. Little, that's our travel tip of the day. What do you order for coffee in Italy, and how do you do it? So, buongiorno and ciao. Buongiorno.